Hi there, uh, my colleagues just have this idea to record this video after we just finish a bootcamp program. Uh, you know, we always do our bootcamps uh, is twice a year and uh, usually it's in present. So uh, under COVID-19, we are handling different. We, we did it online, same as many other incubators and accelerators right now. We are working very hard to provide services to our startups uh, in online basis, which is not necessarily the best always. <laughs> well, uh, the experience was very different this time. Uh, like uh, normally I'm not an online person, especially for what is a bootcamp because there is like two weeks every single day we have activities and all that. But we still did it and we handled it. Um, and this year uh, couldn't have started better. Uh, we had 20 companies uh, coming to Canada. Uh, you know, to be part of the bootcamp, which is the first phase uh, for, uh, you know, entering to this market. And then, uh, you know, very quick uh, in January, uh, ending January, I uh, just, uh, you know, starting um, with a personal experience, I just broke my ankle, one of my ankles. And uh, uh, why I mention this is because it's, it's very relevant uh, what would happen with COVID-19, at least in, in my personal experience. Um, I, that day, I I realized that I broke it, but I thought, you know, uh, I will go to the hospital, get a cast, go for the, uh, you know, uh, to the office in the afternoon. <laughs> and then that day, I figured out, like, oh, okay, so that's not going to happen. Uh, it may take a few days. And then I figured out that I need a surgery. Uh, so that means that it will take a few weeks. And then after the surgery, uh, figure out that I will need, you know, to start working in my foot to walk again normal. It will take months. And while all this was happening, uh, you know, the pandemic came and it was quite, quite the same experience. You know, it was the first time we hear about it. We were like, OK, this is not happening now. Um, we are still going to have the bootcamp presence. Uh, the government was saying, you know, we are, we are just still open and everything. But then things started to go fast and fast and uh, you know then we realized oh okay so we'll have to do it online it will be uh, you know a couple of weeks uh, online and then uh, no this is not going to take a couple of weeks it will take months <laughs> and then it may take years now uh, so yes uh, we uh, we have to go uh, through you know denial to Realis realization that things were going uh, in that way and adaptation into move really quick and to do everything online and uh, thanks God uh, the coaches, the staff and everybody um, was in the right mindset that we need to deliver this and the companies as well were in the best uh, uh, position to say we want to do this. and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, thanks to my colleagues and volunteers and coaches that we have in the time we finished the bootcamp. Uh, now we have six companies on their soft landing program. We're continuing working with them online and hopefully, uh, you know, somehow in presence under, you know, some other rules and restrictions uh, that will come up. But, um, you know, I'm very glad that the companies uh, were having this uh, experience and I was very glad their attitude was always uh, you know, positive, sometimes panicking, and everybody uh, in a while panics. <laughs> sometimes uh, we have to, uh, you know, as many other communities try to support each other. And uh, we're th very thankful, you know, all, uh, all that the government is doing right now. Although for most of our community, uh, most of the benefits are, going, are not going to apply, but that's why Latam Startups is here, is to help. Uh, so we continue working online and we continue working with uh, our colleagues and our volunteers and that was our experience of how to handle uh, COVID-19 and continue doing it. So hope everybody is safe at home. Hopefully uh, soon we'll see you in person again.